Uh, my name is Ema McSweeney. I'm a medical doctor and my area of special expertise is in neuroradiology. So I look at the scans of brains and spines in order to determine what is the cause of your neurological condition or symptoms that you're experiencing. Uh, I'm the CEO of Recognition Health, which is a company which provides expertise for individuals who are suffering from problems with their memory or other forms of cognitive impairment. Uh, as a neuroradiologist, I'm often asked to find the cause why somebody may have difficulty with moving their facial muscles. And to do that, we look at scans of the brain to understand where there could possibly be a problem which affects part of the brain, or in particular the nerves that supply the muscles of the face that cause one to have normal facial expression. Uh, as we grow older, um, our muscles um, are affected and as we know we tend to lose muscle bulk and this affects our facial muscles in exactly the same way as other muscles of the body. Um, our muscles of normal facial expression are controlled by the seventh cranial nerve and the brain sends send signals to the cranial nerve which then innervates all the different facial muscles. One of the ways that we can stimulate the muscles externally and create the same effect as stimulating them normally by the nerve is by providing external muscle stimulation or EMS and this works to contract the muscles um, and helps to build up muscle bulk. Slender Tone Face works through applying external muscle stimulation, EMS, to the muscles of facial expression. And early clinical trials have demonstrated that this increases the thickness of the muscle fibres within the muscles of facial expression. Uh, as we grow older, it does make sense to um, use things which will help to preserve and build muscles um, sooner rather than later, as obviously it will be more effective before the muscles start to atrophy further. And this actually is exactly the same as with one's brain, in so much as that where we see patients with memory and other cognitive problems, it's so important to see people as soon as possible to make an early and accurate diagnosis, so there's time to provide treatment and appropriate management, and where things can be reversible to reverse things as quickly as we possibly can, and to keep everybody as healthy as possible.